Serena Gillette. I'm owner of Royal Magic Events and today we're at the NASCAR Speed Park located in Sevierville, Tennessee and we're going to learn how to do a futuristic face paint design. The items that we need to do this design are of course face paints. You can get face paints online for theatrical grade quality which is what I'll be using today. Your hobby store does have some face paints, but they might not have all of the colors that you need, so you need to shop around maybe on the internet and see if you can find the exact same colors that I have. Okay, we're going to be using a metallic color today, metallic blue. If you don't order online with your face paints, then you can just get a light blue color at your hobby store. This is what the cake will look like. I have a metallic pearl white and a metallic blue. And we're also going to be using gray and silver. Most of the face paints that are theatrical quality are already um, have sanitizers and things made into them so they're safe to use on the skin. They do have to be water activated so they're not most of the time liquid. The kind that I'm using actually is a cake form of paint so you have to have water available to activate it. So I use a spray bottle to activate my cake so you can also have a container filled with water and then you're going to need some paint brushes. And the very first brush that we're going to use is our larger brush, our wide brush, right here. And we're going to start with our metallic colors. We're going to use blue and white metallic. And I'm just going to get the ends of my brush a little wet. Here you can also just use the spray bottle on it. And I'm going to load it back and forth. So I'm going to go down and up, back and forth, and generously load the color onto the brush. Okay, we're going to start with the eye here. We're going to use the blue and have it down towards the base of the eye near where you put the eyeliner and the lighter color at the top. And I'm just going to swoop over the entire eye and come up and around with this motion. And then I'm going to flip downward and go up really close and swoop towards her mouth. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a few more delicate things out from the side like this and close to the eye, maybe just one more here. So if you notice, uh, the blue is on the outside every time. Okay, then now I'm going to move to the other eye. And this is a theatrical quality white in the cake form. And then I'm going to move to the outer side of the eye here. And I'm going to do three small teardrops and at this point, all I'm going to start doing is I'm going to be pulling down a few basic strokes in face paint, just some swirls and teardrops around in random places. Now what I'm doing here is just adding a few little dots, random different sizes, some small, some large with the tip of my brush. For more of the futuristic look, we're just going to add these into where it looks a little more swooped. So what makes your designs pretty for your eye designs is if it goes inward to focal points, which is the center between the brow, around into the center of the eye, back down towards the center of the lips. And okay. I'm just, this is cosmetic glitter again that's available at your cosmetic store. Okay, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to use our silver or gray and we're going to add stars and you just need a round sponge, dampen it and load your sponge with the color that you've chosen and then if you want to add the stars or other designs on, you just tap the color over. I'm actually going to omit this part just because I like the design just like it is, but if you want to embellish it further, you could. And again, remember this makeup is formulated to go anywhere on the surface that you want. And I usually just tell them to keep their mouth closed while I'm putting the face paint on. And we're gonna use our cosmetic glitter. This is different than the poof glitter that I had a minute ago. It's the exact same color. And you can use an applicator. My hands are sanitized. But you can use an applicator if you want to do this. And there you have it, a design of a futuristic girl.